Well, the Siskona People's Rights Movement has had quite a turbulent history with both the city of Cape Town and the ANC. Siskona was responsible for throwing feces both at the provincial legislature and Cape Town's airport. It was actions like these that initially got the movement's leaders, Louis Sankofla and Andile Lili, suspended from the ruling party. Andili Lili and Luis Onkotla are not ones to shy away from controversy. As leaders of the Seskona People's Rights Movement, they've been at the helm of some of Cape Town's most notorious and violent demonstrations. To protest the city's rollout of portable toilets, Seskona threw human feces at the steps of the provincial legislature as well as at Cape Town International Airport last year. They were also responsible for blocking the N2 highway, again by throwing human excrement. And in March, in the city's CBD, some of the group's members went on the rampage, looting stalls and breaking shop windows. Both Andile Lili and Luis Onkotla were suspended from the ANC for their actions. However, they were reinstated before the general elections. But now the Seskona leadership has again fallen out with the ANC. We have tried to engage them through different forums to say certain things are not acceptable. But now you reach a point where you are like, it doesn't help talking to them as if we agree with what they are doing. It's better that the ANC basically must draw a line. And we must say that publicly. Seskona is marching to the ANC headquarters in Cape Town today, allegedly because the party stopped an employment deal with the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa. The ANC denies the allegations, saying Seskona is extorting money from its members with false promises of employment. The city has given permission for the march to go ahead.